good morning. I'm uh, here with my usual Tuesday Facebook Live, and we are uh, downtown. I hope you all are doing well, staying healthy, and you know you're seeing me in a mask for one of the first times. I I think I had one on another Facebook Live, but this is kind of the norm now for all of us. And I'm at one of my favorite businesses, a cup of Commonwealth here at 105 Eastern Avenue, right off of Main Street. And I'm joined by one of my favorite business people, Salvador Sanchez, owner of a cup of Commonwealth. And he also owns Chocolate Holler. And so I know each morning I have to have my cup of coffee to get me going. Usually it's two or three, actually. <laughs> and so that is Sal's business. One of the things that he is all about is good coffee. He owns great locally owned coffee houses. And so this past weekend, he had a new mural painted on the wall and we're standing in front of it and it says, together we are stronger. And there's no better message right now than that message. And so I wanna chat with Sal and introduce him to you. Sal Sanchez, owner of Cup of Commonwealth and Chocolate Holler. And I wanna know, um, Sal, if you would tell our viewers a little bit about your business and then how you've adapted during this COVID-19 situation that we've got. Yeah, um, so uh, like the mayor was saying, we're a coffee shop and then we have the chocolate shop and um, we've kind of uh, built our business around our mission statement, which is embrace community, serve others and create culture. Uh, and the products is kind of like a, a ancillary thing with that. Um, and for us, when this kind of happened, we were fortunate enough to um, come up with a few ideas prior to um, things getting a little bit tighter. Um, so we started coming up with plans and we figured out how we were gonna communicate to our staff and customers. Um, and then when it kind of happened, we were still trying to figure out how we were gonna handle curbside. And uh, we just started putting in policies, hand sanitation uh, systems, we we're creating um, blocked teams. So we have like a team A or a team B or a team C so that we have less employees working with one another and just reducing the exposure as much as possible. Uh, and then kind of working with the economic response committee um, and figuring out ways for all businesses to operate in this um, in this new world. So um. it is a new world. And, you know, we're all following CDC guidelines, mm -hmm. basically, through the governor and through the uh, federal folks. And we're just having to reinvent a few things. Mm -hmm. Now tell us about the mural. Yeah, so the mural, um, John Winters of Prohibition reached out to us and, and we've wanted for years since we first came here, like it'd be really nice to have a mural, but we've never really found something that made sense to us. And uh, John proposed this idea and we loved it. And so um, through Prohibition and Square Pegs and then Kentucky for Kentucky and Cornette sponsoring it and then our landlord, Zeph Maloney, um, we kind of were able to pull this all together and um, get it up and it was, fun kind of watching the process and it happening and then even hearing Graham and Jeff talk about it and how important it is just for all, all, all of us to be like together right now. Uh, it's just a really cool powerful message and we love the idea of it coming into downtown just like a main artery and so people as they're driving can see it or as they're walking into downtown they can see yes, it. It's awesome. It just went up right? Yeah yeah it just popped up Saturday so they worked on it Thursday uh, and then they finalized it Saturday. Uh, just in time for Mother's Day. So. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, the message is terrific, and it just is so you. Mm, thank you. Um, Sal is a wonderful community partner, always ready to help out. And um, that's kind of what Lexington's about, I think, mm -hmm. is, is uh, you reflect that ethic that we have here, that we help. Mm -hmm. When there's a need, we look for how we can help. Yeah. So yeah. thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. Everybody be sure to come see Sal at Cup of Commonwealth and get your cup of coffee. He has great coffee. I can attest to that. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. Now we're going to walk across the street. Things are pretty busy downtown. 
and um, let's go sit on this bench over here so we can talk a little bit. You can kind of see behind me. If you look over there, you see how people are waiting, distanced for coffee or whatever they ordered from Sal's, and it's working really well. He started this very early in the close down, and he says it's working great for him. So I'm going to sit over here on the bench. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this morning is that we still have um, testing appointments available at the Kroger site at BCTC, and there are no qualifications except you have to be over 18 years old. You do have to have an appointment. So um, to get your appointment, you can go on KrogerHealth.com and um, make an appointment, and I highly recommend it. And, um, you know, they'll get you in. They have quite a few appointments left this week. And the tests are free. They are for anybody over 18. And then at the Walgreens at 2296 Executive Drive, you do not need a, an appointment. They're free. The first priority there, though, is that you have to be a healthcare worker or a first responder or have symptoms of COVID. And so they're open seven days a week. And at the Walgreens site, if you have symptoms or a first responder or a healthcare worker, you can go there between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and they'll test you. So you heard Sal mention the um, COVID-19 Economic Response Committee that I have stood up. They are working. We have around 15 subcommittees well, there are actually 16, I think, and what we're going to craft is our blueprint for restarting the economy in Lexington. And so <clears throat> we're focusing on a broad spectrum of entities such as small business, health care, education, restaurants and bars, um, agriculture, tourism, non-profits and the arts. We've covered lots of entities that will need to reopen. And so <clears throat> as we continue to formulate these reopening and restarting plans, we'll send them to the governor. And um, you can find all of the governor's guidelines by clicking Healthy at Work link on www.kentucky well, excuse me, www.kycovid19.ky.gov. I think a lot of people are familiar with that site by now. Now, as you know, yesterday the governor allowed several types of businesses to reopen, including manufacturing, office-based businesses, pet grooming and boarding, car sales, and so throughout this month of May, uh, more of those sort of entities are going to have gradual openings. And that will include retail, restaurants, hair salons for those of us who desperately need a haircut. And so all those details are on the Healthy at Work web page. So, uh, finally, I am working with the Bluegrass Community Foundation to establish a fund to help a group of social service organizations. They're all nonprofits, and they need our help right now. It's called Mayor's Fund for the Greater Good, and it's raising money to help meet the needs of organizations that provide critical services right now for our most vulnerable individuals, families, and children here in Lexington. And this is a wonderful opportunity for citizens like you 
and for others who have some resources right now to help these agencies and the people who depend on them. On Thursday, during my next Facebook Live, we will be talking about our parks because we're gradually reopening some of our facilities and that's a great thing for our people here. And as I continue to say, uh, you, our citizens, have done a great job of keeping our curve low, flattening that curve, keeping our transfer of this virus low. And that's why I'm out in a mask today is, you know, if I cough or sneeze, that will not get spread around. But likewise, if I come six feet from someone who has the virus but doesn't know it, we can all stay safe from spreading. So I just continue to thank you all for everything you're doing. And we're, we're going to get back there. It's just going to take a little time and a little patience. And so stay healthy, and I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks again. Don't forget, Cup of Commonwealth.